Hello, welcome to my channel. I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial we will make our first simple website using HTML. First you go to a software called Brackets. I have told you how, how to download this in the before tutorial and I have also given the link to download it. So this is a code editor which we will use in all the tutorials. Now let's create a new file and let's save it in a fold, separate folder. Let me put it in the desktop. I'm going to name this my first website. And inside this, I'll put my file named index. And make sure you are putting .html as a file extension at the end. Now let me save it. Now as we have saved it, we can start coding. So brackets may makes us easier by giving suggestions when we code. Now the first tag which we will put is doctype html. A tag starts with a less than symbol and then ends with a greater than symbol now inside this tag we will put the name of the tag so when you start an html document you always put the doc type html you remember to put the exclamation sign at the beginning of this tag put doc type in capital and HTML would be in small. Yes, so now let's go to the next. If you can also increase the font if it is difficult for you to see. To increase the font, you should go to view and then here you can see the option to increase. Let me increase a little more. Yeah, this is okay. And then you put an HTML tag. When you start an HTML document. And this tag has an end. So to end a tag, you should put this symbol. Now in between this tag, we will put all our code. So this means this is the starting of the HTML document and this is the end. So if you put any code after this, it it will not exe get executed. Now you can put the head tag and the body tag. So in the head, you can put the title and in the body, you can put all the content in the website so the title will appear at here on the tab so to make something appear here let's use the title tag so let me put the less than symbol title and a greater than symbol to end it now as you can see the tag is getting ended automatically by using brackets. Now here we can put our title. In between this you should put. So I am going to put my first website. And now let's save it. You can always use the short Hit key for save control s now to test if it is working you click on this one live preview and now you can see it is open on my google chrome browser as you can see on the tab my first website is written because we put this code now the other thing 
we will put in the body so i'm going to tell you the different headings in html there's h1 or heading 1 and this this is to close it now in between this h1 you can put any content so i'm going to put lorem ipsum now let me just copy paste this because now we are going to do h2 let me put h2 and end it with h2 now let's save it and see how it looks here you can see the first heading has a bigger font than the second heading so as you go lower the number the font increases now let's put h3 h4 h5 and h6 you have only till h6 in html now let me put h3 again lorem ipsum now let me put h4 let's just change this h5 and h6 now we are done let's save and look at the live preview as you can see the fonts are decreasing so h1 is the greatest and h6 is the smallest next let us learn another tag called p tag or paragraph so let me put it in the body section so put p and in between this you can type a paragraph so i'm going to put let me put something random yeah now let's see how it appears make sure you have saved it and here you can see it's there so you can type many as many as text you want now let's say you want this in a separate line if you put like this and save it you can see it appears in the same line so to make it go to the next line you use the br tag br tag doesn't have the end tag now let's save it and look at the live preview you can see after this word the other words have came to the next line in the paragraph so you don't need to put any end tag to this br thank you for watching this video please like the video comment share and subscribe